Well, election season is taking off across the country, and today voters in the Palmetto State headed to the polls for the Democratic primary. The polls are now closed, so now let's take a look at the results. And as expected, President Joe Biden wins the Democratic primary in South Carolina against two other candidates. WCNC Charlotte's Anna King is in Rock Hill and has more on the turnout today. As the country kicks off election season, South Carolina saw its Democratic primary day Saturday, and poll workers say it wasn't quite what they expected. The turnout rate today has been low. We were hoping for a little higher, but the turnout rate has been low today. Still, the polls opened at 7 a.m., and she says everything today went smoothly. We checked them in, send them to the ballot marking device, and over to the scanner so they can actually cast their ballot and give them their I voted sticker so they're on their way. On the Democratic ballot was President Joe Biden, Minnesota Representative Dean Phillips, and self-help author Marianne Williamson. President Joe Biden was highly expected to win for the state, still that didn't stop some voters from coming out. We're American citizens, and citizens vote in this country for freedom and democracy. It's important that we come to our polling areas and express our views in that manner. And if we don't vote, we can't complain. That's my right. personal belief. And poll workers say with the Republican primary right around the corner, they're urging you to remember to bring a qualified ID when you come out. That's a passport, military ID, South Carolina driver's license, or a registration ID. And voters who came out today say they're urging voters to, quote, get out and do their part. In order to keep our democracy, we have to vote for the person that will keep our Constitution uh, as it was written 200 years ago. I think we're on the cusp of losing our democracy. And so it's like if you really want to go to a dictatorship, go to another country. In York County, Anna King, WCNC Charlotte. And President Biden issued a statement following his win in South Carolina. He mentions how in 2020, the state played a pivotal role in his one for president. He says in part, quote, now in 2024, the people of South Carolina have spoken again, and I have no doubt that you have set us on the path to winning the presidency again.